Hello, I'm Tracy Grimshaw. Welcome to A Current Affair. Self-serve checkouts have changed the way many of us do our grocery shopping, but theft has been a huge problem. Maybe new spy cameras will pull shoplifters into line. It's a $9.3 billion problem, Aussie retail theft, and it's driving up the cost of everyday products. We, being the honest consumers, are now paying for the dishonest consumer. The most commonly stolen items from supermarkets include things like lipsticks and razors. If shoppers do want to steal something, they'll often use recyclable bags so staff can't see through them. They'll weigh expensive fruit and veg as loose carrots and potatoes, We've even heard of some consumers peeling off the barcodes of cheaper items and sticking them on pricier ones to trick those self-serve checkouts. But could the game soon be over for these light-fingered shoppers? Often people who do steal from self-service registers will justify the theft. They'll look at the prevalence of it. Everyone else is doing it. Or they'll consider it a victimless crime. But ultimately, it still is stealing. What if the self-service checkouts were checking you out as you scanned or didn't scan your items? US technology like this is reportedly being considered by some Australian retailers. Watch as this woman rings everything up as loose carrots. Here, a shopper pretends to scan items before tossing them past the weight sensor. This consumer tricks the checkout into thinking these pricey coffee beans are bananas. The software, called Stop Lift, can tell exactly what is actually being rung up at the checkout as it happens and alerts staff if something is wrong. We spoke to the man behind the technology, Malloy Kundu. For every item that's not scanned, that leaves with the shopper without being scanned, the retailer has to sell 50 more of those just to make up for the one that they lost. Has it been successful? Uh, we found that it reduced uh, the, the alarms and alerts of self-checkouts by 90%, 90%. So it's a really, really significant uh, improvement to the behaviour of self-checkouts. Is this technology being used in any capacity in Australia? Stoplift uh, has been uh, trialling uh, our technology um, in Australia, across Australia, with uh, various kinds of retailers ranging from supermarkets to general merchandise to more specialised kinds of retailers. No one likes Big Brother watching them when they're shopping. No one likes Big Brother watching them when we're doing anything out there in public. Dr Gary Mortimer from QUT has researched other ways to prevent self-service theft. Preliminary uh, research from QT is looking at sort of the shape of robots and actually finding that uh, taking money or stealing from a, from a machine it is quite highly probable. If it's shaped like a robot or a humanistic style robot, it's less likely to steal from those. Having real humans nearby is still the best way to crack down on checkout crooks. Clearly having uh, you know, human operators in the presence of a self-service bank of registers does sort of increase the, the risk perception of getting caught and therefore um, shoppers are less likely to misrepresent what they're actually scanning or, or weighing. The executive director of the Australian Retail Association, Russell Zimmerman, says camera technology, like we've seen in the US, will certainly help reduce retail theft down under. What I think is important is that retailers use and implement technology that will eliminate theft. With Kmart and Target now rolling out more self-serve checkouts, theft will likely increase. In terms of our major supermarkets though, Coles say they're not trialling the camera technology, telling ACA the large majority of customers do the right thing and they work with police to reduce shoplifting. Covert security officers also patrol stores, catching thieves every week. It's a similar story from Woolies. The company says self-service checkouts are convenient for customers short on time and most do the right thing. The supermarket giant has its own comprehensive security measures in place for those who don't. Certainly personal items and, and hygiene items tend to be quite sensitive, so having more cameras focused on us would really sort of create this sense of, I guess, uneasiness, and that's why I wouldn't see uh, our supermarkets trialling this type of technology currently. Coles and Woolworths have sent us statements on those security measures and you can read them in full on our website.